hi subscribers welcome back to my channel today i'll be sharing with you on how to carry out remote elevation model in order for you to carry out remote elevation model we have two methods of getting it done actually the first method is that you can use reflector mode and you can also use reflectorless mode but today i'll be sharing with you on how to use reflectorless mode as long as you want to get the remote elevation model for this place here what you simply do is you want to use your tracking rod method that is a uh, that is that one is called what? That is called reflector mode. So what you simply do is that you bring in your reflector to it, and then assuming this is where your prism is, you just track your prism here. So from here, as soon as you track it, you keep moving with your total station telescope. You keep moving it up till you get to this edge point. Then it's going to give you the light. But using reflectorless mode, you what you simply do is you track it from the starting point from the from the below and you move your tracking your telescope to the last point then you get the eye so you can use either method to get that so just watch me as i put you on how to use lake paper station to carry out remote elevation model particularly using reflectorless mode thank you so looking at that uh, pole that electric pole, that is what I'll be bisecting using reflectorless mode. That electric pole, we are going to be doing remote elevation of the electric pole. All I'll simply do is that the first thing you have to note is from your total station, you can see my total station screen here. Under my settings, when I click on enter, there is a place that says EDM. So under my EDM, now when I enter into my EDM, we have MP precise. This MP precise what it means what this MP precise means you are using reflectorless mode. We have MP tracking, we have P long and every other thing. If you want to use a tracking rod method, that is reflector mode. So now uh, we have the PP and fast. That is a P precise and fast method. That is for tracking uh, prism method. But I'll be using reflectorless mode today. I'll be using reflectorless mode. That is MP precise. And then I'll click on right, I'll click on escape. Alright, so uh, the next thing for me to do is uh, boom. I'll come to my programs, I'll click on programs, enter. So under my programs now, we can see we have a lot of buttons. So I'll click on my functions page. You can see functions page. Then under my functions page 2, we have remote height. So I'll click enter for my remote height. Alright, so I'll click on I'll click on continue. It says remote height coupled points directly above the base prism. So I'll click on continue. That is F4. Alright, so now what I'll simply be doing is, is say measure to base point. That is uh, my base point. I'll be measuring to my base point now. So, I'll try the electric pole now. I'm going to track the electric pole from the base point. I'll uh, by side the base point of the electric pole. So, I'll press my F1 now. That is what? Measure. To measure. So, you can see now, I'll keep moving my telescope. You can see it is reading from the screen. It is, it is reading. The light is changing. All right, so you can see the height now. You can see the height of the electric pole. That is a one point zero six meters, and that is the height for the for the electric pole. And so that is how to carry out remote elevation motor. So when I'm done, I'll just click on what end. So you can see it on the screen now, and that is how to carry out remote elevation motor. Thank you.